Hello there everyone, Jedi Brick here. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how you can upgrade and modify some of your LEGO Star Wars clone troopers. Now I've done two videos like this in the past and I wanted to do another one for you guys just because I like making videos like this. So right here in front of you guys I have seven clone troopers that I upgraded and I modified. Some of them are customs and I'm going to be showing you guys what I did to them and how you can make them at home. So let's get right into the video. So starting off with the figure that inspired me to make this third installment of my clone modification videos, here we have the Phase 2 ARC Trooper. So I only changed two things about this minifigure. This whole minifigure comes from the original ARC Trooper Battle Pack that came out back in 2012, I think. That's when that came out. So I wanted to make a Phase 2 version of the ARC Trooper. So the two things I did was I added, of course, the newer Phase um, two and phase one clone trooper head that came out back in 2020 and I added the new phase two white helmet It doesn't look perfect. I know on the original arc trooper It had that kind of blue and red design on the face for the helmet But I couldn't find anything that was phase two that was official Lego To replicate that and this was kind of the closest that I could think of I was thinking about using the um, 332nd or the 501st helmet but I didn't think that worked too well so I just kind of went with the regular helmet. Um, I don't think it looks terrible. I think you can really tell what it is of course it being a clone trooper but it could be better. I'm um, pretty sure there are better custom versions of a phase 2 version of this helmet. Um, I just don't have any but yeah I didn't change anything else about this minifigure except for the, the blasters. Those are the um, pistol pieces. I just think they look nicer for the our trooper, but yeah, the torso, legs, everything is all the same. So let's move on to the next minifigure. The next minifigure inspired by that battle pack is the ARF trooper. So for this minifigure, I was going for a um, phase two regular style ARF trooper. Um, I wasn't really sure how to do it, at least with the pieces in my collection. So this is what I came up with. All I did was I took the torso and the legs from the new phase 2 clone trooper um, with the head underneath of course and I put on the helmet from a newer scout trooper um, they do have very similar looking helmets I know it's not the same mold there are some slight differences and everything but again closest thing I had in my collection and I think it looks pretty nice you can kind of tell what it is it does look quite a bit like a scout trooper though unfortunately but I think if you're a big fan of the Clone Wars and stuff, you can tell what this is trying to be. And I just wanted to have one of these for my army. So this is the best I could come up with. Um, I wasn't able to make it like the Rancor Battalion because there are, would be printing on the side of the helmet and everything. Of course, I wasn't able to do that for this helmet because it's um, all white. So I just kind of went with a all white design for it in general. And I think it does look pretty good. The next minifigure we have here is the Specialist Coruscant Guard Trooper. Um, so this was almost all from the new battle pack, of course, um, with that new Shock Trooper. You can also get this figure in the new gunship as well. Uh, it doesn't really matter, it's the same thing. And the only two things I added were the long sniper blaster and the macro binoculars that fit right onto that helmet thanks to the new helmet holes. So you can move that up and down. Um, I just wanted to have a bit of diversity when it comes to my Coruscant Guard clone troopers because I am getting a lot of these now because of that new battle pack. So I think this does look really nice. Of course, you don't have the special markings there on the torso um, just because it wasn't made for a specialist clone trooper. But I think this is a pretty nice custom. It didn't take a lot of extra pieces. It only uses the pieces from that. 501st Battle Pack. Um, so if you have a few of those just laying around, you probably have these macro binoculars laying around as well. So it was pretty easy to put together. So just like the Coruscant Guard Trooper I just showed you guys, uh, this 212 is pretty much the exact same minifigure. I just added some accessories and everything and changed the name of it. So here we have the 212 Heavy Clone Trooper. So all I did was I added uh, this custom heavy blaster, changed the arm color to the orange, and added that backpack and the visor. So everything else is the exact same. I just wanted to give 
uh, my clone troopers a bit more variety, like I have already said. So this is what I did for the 212th. I just made him into a heavy, gave him a um, bigger looking blaster. Um, the way I did that is I took the blaster that came in the 501st set, I flipped it around on his hand, and I put a black hand on the end for him to hold on to. So you can kind of put him that way, look like he's blasting at the droids. Very simple design for this, not a lot going on. Like I said, you just have the backpack there on the back. Uh, nothing underneath, just the basic clone head. But yeah, I think it's very effective, and I like the way this one came out. So the next minifigure we have here is 501st Commander Vaughn. Um, I had extras of the torso from building a bunch of the 332nd Battle Packs, and I had an extra 501st helmet lying around. So I just kind of decided to combine the two to make a 501st version of the character. Um, I don't think we ever saw this version of Vaughn in Star Wars. I don't remember, but I just wanted to make one anyway. So the way I did that, torso and legs from the um, original Vaughn. Um, the helmet is from the newer 501st Battle Pack, and I just put on that blue visor there. Not a lot going on with this minifigure. Uh, I just kind of switched it around to make it a different version of the character. So let's move on to the next figure. Here we have a very simple upgrade for one of the clone troopers. This is the 187th clone trooper. And the only thing I changed about it was I added the purple arms on both sides. Um, I just really like adding the colored arms to my clone troopers. I don't like the colorful clone troopers to have just white arms. I really think they stand out more when they have the colored ones. So I did that to all my 501st, all my 332nd, my 212th, and my Coruscant guards. Everything that has a color on it for its legion, I changed the color of the arms. I think it looks so much better with these uh, purple arms instead of the plain white ones just such a unique and cool looking clone trooper deserves to have a bit more color on it so that's what i did with all my clone troopers and here is what the 187th one looks like so the final clone trooper we have here and my favorite one in this video is my custom green clone trooper so i've expressed in quite a few videos how i wish lego would give us more green clone troopers we haven't gotten a 440 second clone trooper since 2005 with the old style clones and that to me just isn't right so i went ahead and made myself my very own green clone troopers um so the way i did this was very simple i used the legs and the torso from the new p2 clones from the battle pack and i put on some dark green hips and dark green arms and that helmet piece is custom by and uh, let me see it is a GCC clone trooper helmet it is from a Christmas uh, themed clone trooper they had going on for a while so I just ordered a bunch of the helmets in bulk so I can have a bunch of these for my army and I'm also going to make a whole video about me making this clone trooper in the future so stay tuned for that but this is my custom green clone trooper um, it's not meant to be a 40-40-second clone trooper. It is just supposed to be a green clone trooper. I don't know what I'm going to call it yet, but yeah, very simple design. I couldn't add anything on the torso, of course, without really making this not purist, but yeah, I just added the dark green hips, dark green arms, and I kind of called it good. I really like the helmet. Um, this was my first time getting a GCC um, helmet and it looks amazing the quality is so so nice on the printing it looks official um yeah don't really have a lot to say about this one but i do like the clone trooper that i put together quite a bit and i'm going to be making a whole video about this very soon all right and that is going to do it for my video about upgrading my lego star wars clone troopers so this is the third video that i've made in this um kind of style about upgrading clone troopers so if you haven't seen either of the other videos please go check them out i did a lot of really cool stuff in those ones but yeah a lot of these um customs were inspired by the new clone trooper battle pack and if you haven't picked it up please consider using my link in the description down below it'll take you right to amazon it is an affiliate link so if you purchase that uh set or anything else using my link i will get a small commission and it will not cost you guys anything extra 
But hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you guys want to see me upgrade any more clone troopers. And if you're new here, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to my channel. With all that said, hope you guys are having a great day. I am the Jedi Brick. Peace out. Bye.